Hey, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to identify and resolve any kind of ATS app transport security problems that were introduced in iOS 9 uh, that affects Apache Cordova, Ionic Framework, and PhoneGap. But in particular, we're going to be going over this example uh, with Ionic Framework, which is just a, a framework on top of Apache Cordova. Uh, but the same rules apply regardless what Apache Cordova framework you use. Uh, so, uh, to get the best idea of what this problem is, uh, we're going to go ahead and use an example that I wrote um, a while back. It has to do with NG Cordova OAuth, um, and in particular, this is the Facebook example that I wrote. Uh, so, you can see it on my GitHub. I'll include the URL um, in the uh, comments of this video, uh, but this is a perfect example on the problem and, and how we're going to resolve it. So from your terminal, what you want to do is you want to first check out that project. So first go to your desktop, because that's where I'm going to make it. And we're going to say git clone https github.com slash nreboy slash ng cordova facebook example. And I'll go ahead and check out the project to my desktop. Now what I want to do is I want to navigate into that project using my terminal. So I want to go uh, cd ng Cordova uh, Facebook example and I want to add a few uh, required uh, dependencies so a few plugins uh, that are required to use this particular example which is also outlined in the uh, github readme so what I want to do is I want to say Cordova plugin add Cordova plugin in app browser Uh, let's first make sure that I have the iOS installed here. So uh, let's say Ionic Platform Add iOS. Yeah, so I didn't have it installed, but it looks like it installed the in-app browser for me. Uh, I just I just added the iOS platform uh, because this problem only affects iOS, not Android. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and clear this. I'm going to add my next plugin. So I'm going to say Cordova Plugin Add. Cordova plugin whitelist. I'm going to add two more just in case they got wiped out somehow uh, while I was uh, checking out the, the project. So I'm going to say Cordova plugin add uh, Cordova plugin device. I'm just going to hit the up arrow on my terminal and I'm going to change device to uh, keyboard. And just one more time, I'm going to actually say Cordova plugin add uh, Ionic plugin keyboard. Because you never know, sometimes when you download stuff off of GitHub, uh, not all the dependencies are there. And I'd rather this, uh, this example succeed uh, and not fail because of a plugin problem. If it's going to fail, I'd like it to fail because of the ATS, which is what we're trying to resolve. So go ahead and clear your terminal. Let's go ahead and build that iOS project. So Ionic build iOS. So I'm going to show you this example uh, out of the box before we start messing with some properties. And also note that I'm not changing the client ID uh, inside uh, this Facebook example. Uh, so it shouldn't matter. The client ID is if I truly want a real experience, but um, it should error out um, as is. So clear that. Let's go ahead and open that project and go to platforms, iOS, and let's go ahead and open a Facebook example, the Xcode project. Perfect. I'm going to change my simulator to something smaller so it doesn't take up my whole screen. And now I'm going to choose to run it. Let me shrink this down in case it gets cut off in my video. So I'm going to choose to run it. And what it's doing is it's, it's going to uh, open up my simulator here. Perfect. And it's going to show me some logs down here. So in theory, if I click this button, it should fail. So let's go ahead and click it. Yeah, so I got a white screen. And if I go to my, my logs here, uh, this is the common indicator, this log right here. An SSL error has occurred, 
and a secure connection to the server cannot be made. If you receive this error, uh, that's because you're suffering from uh, Apple's ATS, uh, App Transport Security uh, change that they recently made. So now we're going to go ahead and we're going to look at how to resolve this problem. So go ahead and stop your project. I'm going I'm to close out of it for now. And I am going to, inside of my, I'm, right now I'm in my platforms directory, iOS. I'm going to go to Facebook example. And I'm going to go ahead and open Facebook example hyphen info dot key list. And I'm going to open it with Adam. So an important thing to note, um, so yours might not be called Facebook example. Uh, it could be called something else. But the file that's important is info.plist. So as long as it's got info.plist in the name, <coughs> you're doing good. So we have this file open. Let's go ahead and scroll to the bottom. We're going to add something. So at the bottom, right below the array, or it could be similar, what, what we're looking for in particular is we're doing it right before the last uh, dictionary. <coughs> we're going to add the following. Uh, dict for dictionary. Let's go ahead and close the tag. And we're going to go ahead and add... Uh, Oops, sorry, we're, we're not adding dictionary yet. We could add, we're going to add it, but not right there. So we're actually going to say key ns app transport security. Now, inside of uh, inside of that dictionary, we're going to say key ns allow. Oops arbitrary loads and for that key we're going to give it a value of true and we're going to hit save. Now in theory uh, this should be it. We've now uh, told it that we want to allow all insecure resources. Now if you look at the Apple documentation you can choose to add only certain resources that are external and insecure but for this particular example I am allowing everything. Let's go ahead and close this out, and we're going to go back to our terminal and say iOS, Ionic Build iOS. I'm going to open up my Facebook example, and I'm going to choose Run. Now let's hope that it works. So it's open. I'm going to click OAuth Sign In. And it errored. That's not good. So let's see what we can be what can be done here. So our problem was actually because I made a typo. Um, it's not ns allow arbitrary loads. It's ns allows plural. So let's go ahead and save that again. We can close that out now. And going back into our terminal, we're going to rebuild. Let's go back into Xcode here, stop the project and restart it, and click OAuth sign in. And now you can see that, of course, I'm using an invalid app ID, uh, which is as expected. Just like that, um, we didn't have to do a whole lot in order to get this working again. And this is a problem that uh, you may face many times uh, in your applications. Uh, this issue doesn't exist in Android, it doesn't exist in earlier versions of iOS, it only exists in iOS 9.0 and above, um, but we know that Apple did it to protect our users' security, and uh, we can make revisions to uh, make it work towards our needs.